Welcome Aries and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a twin flame reading for May 2020. Please always keep in mind however that time is fluid so whenever you view this it could be a past, a present, or a future event for you. If it does not resonate for you at all please try checking your moon rising and your Venus sign when it comes to love. You can also try cross checking your person's placements as well for additional messages. There are always time stamps in the description box of my videos if you ever want to skip straight to the reading itself. I'm going to read Divine Masculine here, Divine Feminine here, but please keep in mind this is general, um, so some of the energies can be flipped or reversed. I have been getting a ton of questions about what is a twin flame, what am I saying when I'm saying DMDF, what is Divine Feminine Masculine? So we're talking about twin flames, two halves of the same soul. It's a very rare connection. Uh, we're talking about energies, okay? So the divine masculine and the divine feminine. The divine feminine energy, whether male or female physically, is the person in the connection who is more emotional, more awoken to it. The masculine is usually the energy that's kind of running from the connection, usually less aware of how significant the connection is, okay? I'm going to start here with the divine feminine's energy. So knight of pentacles she could be thinking about an earth sign or maybe she has heavy earth in her chart uh taurus virgo capricorn so making an offer making things right it's like slowly moving like she's not going to rush into anything like she may have like this creative idea this creative spark on how to get this rolling how to m move things quicker how to make this relationship escalate how to make it better like she has this idea like she's forming this plan or something it's like something she's very passionate about it's like she just gets this idea in her head and she's seeing it there uh, could we know with a fire sign uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius you know it's like coming in with this offer but however she's presenting this offer to this masculine it's kind of a creative way so maybe she's not necessarily coming right out and saying listen I want you to do x y and z and be with me let's let's move in together let's get married it's kind of like she's thinking of some creative way to initiate this conversation, to kind of get the offer rolling, to kind of figure this masculine out a little bit. Because maybe he's been a little bit hesitant in his communication or a little bit hesitant in how he um, opens up emotionally. Whatever this is that she's doing, it's like this creative idea, this way to kind of initiate conversation and get some kind of clarity, some kind of communication that she's been uh, really desiring for quite some time. A lot of passionate energy here when it comes to her masculine, a lot of desire, a lot of attraction, um, physical temptation, I feel. Um, in her heart space, she's very much desiring this conversation. It's like she needs some kind of answer, some type of truth. She's thinking about how she should initiate this conversation because she's feeling like the masculine's really dragging his feet in this situation. She wants to get very clear with him and understand his situation and what he's doing. Is she wasting her time? You know, should she just walk away from the time being? Should she p keep persevering, pushing through, waiting for the situation? It's like she doesn't want to put her life on hold right now. Uh, but she also does not want to give on this connection because, you know, twin flames, you're always energetically very much connected. You can never truly be apart from your twin flame. Um, she sees, she feels this connection. She just needs some kind of answer. It's like she's not, she's just not giving her... I feel like there could be like kind of a, either a lack in communication, like no communication, or like uh, kind of spotty communication. Like it's just what even if they're communicating right now, this masculine is not saying enough. He's not coming forth with enough communication. It's just leaving this. It's kind of like leaving the feminine on red, making her very confused in the situation. Now, could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius involved in the situation with this Ace of Swords. Um, you know, trying to cut through any kind of confusion, really see things from a new perspective, initiating some kind of conversation. Maybe this feminine's kind of been holding back a little bit, keeping her hands to herself. Pisces energy here. It's like she could see her masculine as someone who's not making any moves towards her. So in her response, she's just kind of waiting. She's hanging here waiting for the right opportunity. She's. It's like she wants to present this offer, but she's trying to figure out how to present this offer, how, how to initiate this conversation, or how to have, you know, this talk with the masculine. Um, he could be in a situation where he hasn't been doing anything to get out of it. Like he's been kind of dragging his feet, kind of staying in a situation even where he's not unhappy. The hanged man's a very spiritual card. You know, it, it talks about illumination, seeing things from a new light, a new perspective, getting some kind of answer, some kind of clarity in a situation. You know, uh, understanding something from a new perspective, being able to kind of break free, you know, in the right time. You want you able to kind of take a step back and evaluate a situation. 
page of pentacles here so her intention is to present an offer to the masculine it's kind of like she's giving him an ultimatum you're going to walk away and be with me or i'm out of the picture you know because i can't keep waiting i can't keep putting my life on hold now i don't feel like this this feminine is just walking away it's kind of like a bluff i feel not that not that not that she wouldn't walk away because she definitely knows her worth and her value and i can see her doing it um but it's like she doesn't want to give up on this but it's like this masculine isn't doing anything. He's not making progress. Nothing's changing. Nothing's being said. Nothing's being discussed. Nothing's being talked about. And she's honestly getting frustrated. It's like, how much longer are we going to have to wait? More earth energy here. How much longer before we have this conversation? Because energetically, like maybe she knows how painful it is for this masculine to walk away from the situation. See that dolphin kind of peeking there. Kind of energetically, telepathically, very intelligent, you know, trying to... Um, provide some type of healing or connection a friendliness like listen i know that you're going through a lot i know this is going to be a difficult choice for you to make i know how painful it is for you to walk away from the situation but you need to do this you need to do this for us because you're not happy and i'm not happy and we need to figure out how to make things work in the situation you know to progress things because this is meant for something more now in this masculine energy it's like he's holding himself back it's like he's waiting for the right opportunity just standing in the shadows so i feel like either there's no communication right now or very or very little it's like nothing important is being said here no one's discussing their feelings no one's discussing plans nothing's really getting talked about here it's like somebody here's dragging their feet this feminine is desperately waiting for this conversation it's like maybe she knows how hard like let's say for some of you again this is general so it'll be different for everybody but let me throw the scenario out there if there's a karmic relationship as in a partnership as in a marriage or a commitment or something Maybe this feminine knows that it's going to be hard for this masculine to detach from that because maybe there are children involved, okay? Maybe there is, you know, the, even though, you know, it's kind of the energy of love, but not being in love, contentment, not fulfillment, that type of energy. So maybe she knows energetically it's very difficult for this masculine to walk away because he's put time and energy into something. It's not like there's no emotion there, but it's not fulfillment. He's been kind of dragging his feet, kind of waiting. It's like he knows he's been thinking a lot about this decision, a lot of meditation, quiet contemplation here. Um, it's like, he knows that making this decision is for the betterment. It's like he has to lose three of these cups in order to have this two of cups in order to come together with his feminine. He has to leave behind what he already has. It's like, but he's still crying over those spilt cups, even though he's still got two cups right there. Okay. The energy, it's like regret, remorse, like knowing this decision has to be made. He knows that he's thinking about this decision that he needs to make, whatever this is. And again, when I see a third party, that does not mean that it's always a physical person. Now it can be, okay. It usually is, but you guys eat me up in comments and I tell you all the time, a third party is anything that comes between you and your person, anything that cuts you know, the two of you off, anything that comes between you, whether it is someone who's drinking too much, whether it's someone who has like an addiction, okay, someone who maybe sleeps too much, who has depression, someone who works too much, someone who lives in another country or can't come and see you because of X, Y, or Z, someone who's constantly got an overbearing mother-in-law involved in the situation, friends or family who don't necessarily approve of your relationship. A third party is anything that and everything that comes between your, you and your connection, okay? And for most of you, you know, a great deal of you it tends to be another person again doesn't have to be a lover it can be like i say someone's boss who's constantly demanding other time and attention you know someone here could be in the military and they physically can't get out of that situation someone here could actually be in prison and they can't get out of the situation there's like a judge or an a court ordered situation you know what i'm saying a third party is something that's out of your control it's like some type of karmic lesson that has to be overcome in these kind of situations but whatever this is this masculine's thinking a lot about this like he knows he needs to let this go. But it brings him a lot of pain. This feminine can sense that. She can feel that. She's trying to, you know, put these fears aside. He's at this crossroads right now. Do I want to hold on to the situation where I'm not happy, where I'm not fulfilled? Or do I want to move toward my my twin flame, my divine feminine, you know, my person? Do I want to move to, you know, that, that, that happiness, that abundance, okay? It's like taking off this blindfold would give him perspective, but he can't do that. You know, he's holding two heavy swords. He can't let either one of them go. Okay. It's like, uh, I can choose path beach, path a, I can 
can go left, I can go right, I can go here, I can go there, I can go any direction I want to go, but I can't foresee the outcome. If I walk away from my family, if I walk away from my children, what would happen to the karmic? What would she say? Would it be my fault if she got depressed? Would it be my fault if I couldn't see the kids anymore? Would I lose my financial stability? If I leave this job that I've been at for 10 years, or if I try to get out of the military, you know, and I have a contract there, you know, it's that kind of energy of not being able to foresee the outcome. It's like, yes, I'm not happy. Yes, I'm not fulfilled. Yes, there's disappointment. Yes, there's regret here. Okay. But I don't know for certain what's going to happen just yet. It's like some kind of fear holding this masculine back and he is desperately, desperately wanting more information about the situation. It's like what he has done is withdrawn from this feminine to really contemplate this situation. And in his heart, he is deeply desiring this twin flame connection. He is deeply desiring his divine feminine. He knows he needs to come towards her with an apology. And I do feel that he will. Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy to apologize for the situation that he has put her in. To apologize for withdrawing. To apologize for because he's very there's a lot of remorse here a lot of regret on his part he knows that he messed up in the past and he needs to make up for that so we have him here kind of working alone working on the recipe for success the formula for success right working alone kind of trying to get information clarity insight into this trying to figure out how to get out of his situation maybe there are children involved Okay, maybe he doesn't want to lose custody of his children. Maybe he doesn't want to have to pay child support. Maybe he doesn't want to lose his money. Okay, maybe he doesn't want to emotionally imbalance them. Maybe he wants to be able to see them every day and tuck them in for bed. Do you know what I'm saying? That's the kind of energy that I see here. Maybe it's the kind of energy here of him thinking about the past. Maybe he has fond childhood memories because he's grew up in this country his whole life and now he has been asked to pick, pack up and move his bags and, and move toward his feminine in a whole other place where he's never been or. You know, it's it's scary. It's stepping out into the unknown and he can't foresee what's going to happen down the road. He cannot foresee that. He can't foresee what's going to happen in this situation. But it's like his soul is crying out for this. His heart is crying out for his, for his feminine. Sorry, guys, I got cut off. Um, but it's like he wants this connection and he doesn't want to give this up. But he's trying to figure this out because he, he knows it's going to be painful. Whatever this karmic situation he's attaching from, it's going to be painful. So he's waiting for more information. He's trying to be positive. He's trying to think of the bright side. But he knows it's not the right time just yet. He's got to kind of be patient with himself. He's recovering from some kind of pain, some type of... It's like under once he's kind of withdrawn himself from this feminine energy, it was to kind of get clear with himself, to understand what he's going through and why he's going through this. And now he understands the connection a little more. He's starting to go through this awakening process. He's trying to get information here. He's trying to do some research. Okay, I can really see him hitting the books, Googling stuff, trying to get information, asking for support, asking for information, you know, trying to understand how to get out of the situation that he has found himself in. Because it's not easy and it's scary, okay? He needs some kind of support. He's trying to be positive here because he knows ultimately it's going to give him what he wants, but it's still scary. So he's trying to be cautious, okay? He's recovering from something. And I think that recovery for him is understanding, realizing what he has to let go in order to move toward his feminine. It's like there's still a lot of pain here, a lot of grief here, a lot of sadness, kind of lost in that void, okay? Really overwhelmed, but he's having trust and faith in the situation. There's, you know... A resistance here this connection's not over it's still like gripping on to this not letting this go having faith this is what he's supposed to do even though it's scary maybe there's people in the community who have too much to say or too much influence people who go well your friends and family would not approve of that or you know what about your mother-in-law she wouldn't like that you know yada 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 or what would the kids say or the church or your boss you know what would your friends say you know what would our neighbors think of the situation this masculine's been really in his head he's still recovering whatever this is there's a lot of sadness a lot of pain here i'm even hearing like almost depression here in this masculine's energy and he's trying to recover from that he's deep in thought about his divine feminine he cannot clear her from his mind we have heartbroken here so deeply hurt sad separation breakup feeling lost grieving and mourning we have breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. And we have karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. So what I feel here is this masculine walked away from his divine feminine. But what that did was it allowed him to start to understand this connection more, to see this more, okay? This separation had to happen as painful as it was to kind of teach him 
it's like it, it triggered some kind of awakening in him to see things more clearly. He's been heavily watching his feminine, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, and focusing out. Because it's like from a distance, he hasn't been really communicating. It's like he's been holding back a little bit, yearning, waiting for the right opportunity to move toward his feminine. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Taurus energy here. Okay, waiting, you know, feeling very distant. There's a, there's a big energy here of like not being together and like seeing her succeed, seeing her do well, seeing her be abundant, seeing her working hard, uh, feeling this higher level of commitment to her, wanting to take her from being single to being married. Okay, take a leap of faith. Aries energy here. Take a leap of faith in this new direction. Take a chance on this relationship. It's like emerging from the fog, Cancerian energy and seeing things clearly understand that he has to walk away from something in order to have this fulfillment to have this chance with his feminine it's like as painful as the separation was he is now understanding this connection deeper on a deeper level he is now understanding that he was never going to be content unless he was with his divine feminine he now sees that clearly it's like he's he's coming to this realization it's not going to be easy spirit is advising him to kind of wait to be fully prepared to make this change because it's scary it's shocking and it's new he can't just do this impulsively it's going to take him some time and there's still a lot of residual pain from the past that he is letting go of okay all right you guys this was your reading please remember to like comment and subscribe um there is a timeless twin flame playlist in the description box as well as an aries playlist if you want to check out more videos like this one um also be sure to follow me on instagram facebook so all the links are in the description box i do a monthly giveaway over on instagram you can follow me there to figure out to learn how to enter each month for the monthly giveaway sorry i'm getting so tongue-tied guys um also, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do that through Etsy. The links are in the description box. All right. I'm wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.